With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. An increase in attacks on pro-life centers has led those groups to call for prayer and protection. On the morning of June 7th, Mountain Area Pregnancy Services in Asheville, North Carolina, shared pictures of vandalism that had occurred at its offices overnight, including threatening messages spray-painted in red and shattered and broken windows around the building. If abortions aren't safe, then neither are you, and no forced birth accompanied an anarchist symbol, the Asheville Police Department reported. The act followed at least three others. One occurred over Memorial Day weekend when a pregnancy care center in Hollywood, Florida was also defaced with similar threats. On June 3rd, red paint was splashed on the front door of the Capitol Hill Pregnancy Center in Washington, D.C., with the words, Jane Says Revenge, spray-painted on the building's side, an apparent reference to Jane Roe, the pseudonym of the plaintiff in the landmark Roe v. Wade Supreme Court decision. It appears that decision will likely be overturned this month. On the same day of the Asheville attack, a Buffalo, New York pro-life center was firebombed and graffiti scrawled on its exterior. As final preparations are underway for the 2022 SBC annual meeting, the Great Commission Council has issued a statement thanking the Sexual Abuse Task Force for their work during this past year and calling for Southern Baptists to act on the recommendations when they gather June 14th and 15th. What the task force proposes is an approach aiming to prevent sexual abuse, the group says. It's to provide care for victims and to respect historic Baptist polity. Now is the time for robust and definitive action, the statement said. The Great Commission Council consists of SBC Entity Presidents and the Women's Missionary Union Executive Director. The council also recognized survivors of sexual abuse who provided assistance to investigators. Good news for today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His great commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash goodnews. Jesus' statement to Nicodemus in John 3 was astounding. You must be born again. A Bible study from Lifeway says, Being born is not something I can do for myself. It is not about my efforts or my good works. New birth means that I have to become someone completely different. Receiving new birth is something only God can do for me. It's not something I can do for myself. You can find that full study at our website, baptistpress.com. Thanks for listening to Good News for Today.